Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to actually customize your Twitch channel with the new Twitch update, uh, late 2017. Let's do it. Okay, so recently there was an update to the Twitch website, and uh, it got rid of a couple of things. So uh, a couple of things have changed, and I'm here today to show you how to do those things properly because all of those past tutorials on how to customize your channel, including mine, um, are completely obsolete now. So let's go ahead and see how to actually customize your Twitch channel now. All right, let's open up Twitch. Now, the first thing you'll realize is that when you open up your Twitch channel, you don't have a banner up top anymore. You cannot scroll up. So you only have your offline screen here. Um, and then you scroll down, you get your panels. If you have your channel feed activated, also show up here. Oh, what is this? I'm hosting a channel, apparently. I need to turn that off. Before the update, you had uh, one way of customizing your Twitch channel, and that was basically an edit button that was underneath the banner. And you could click that and then click on the profile picture or the banner, and that, will, that would change it. Uh, keep in mind that editing the panels is exactly the same as before. You can add an image, okay, and you can add the link like what, where will the image take people if they click on it? And then you can add a description and markdown, which is some sort of um, simple HTML code uh, is supported. But on top of that, now you have extensions. It's, this isn't the tutorial for that. Just keep in mind panels, you will still edit your panels just, um, just as before, okay? It's mostly the profile pic and also your um, offline screen. I think it's different, but anyways, um, so to change your profile picture, you need to know that the banner doesn't appear on the main page. It doesn't appear on video. So nothing, I cannot scroll up here. Doesn't appear on clips, doesn't appear on collection. I think you get the point. The way to do it would be to go in settings. So click top right, you go in settings, your settings. And the first tab is profile. And here you will have your email, your username. I might have to blur some, some of that out. Um, and here you have profile picture. So this is where you will change your profile picture. The main, the avatar or profile picture, this is where you would change it. And then you um, choose file. It will take a little bit of time. Open up and you find a file. I'm not gonna change mine. Then you click save changes and your, your profile picture will be updated now. Uh, and now if you go to channel and videos and uh, where it says channel design, video player banner, this is your offline image. So settings, channel and videos, video player banner, and this is where you upload your... Am I, did I just repeat what I just said? <laughs> yeah, so you can have remove my video player banner image if you don't want anything to show up. Um, one quick tip is keep in mind that now Twitch um, has suggestions. They can suggest people to go watch your VODs. It's usually on the top right. So keep that in mind when you're making those um, offline images. Okay. And of course you scroll down and you click on save changes. Okay guys. Um, now I feel like Twitch is trying to get rid of the banners altogether. So let's take a moment of silence and uh, so we can remember our good friend, the banners, the top banners. Seriously, um, it doesn't show, it's not meant to be showing on your website anymore because there are no ways on your website uh, to change your banner. Weirdly enough, it is still displaying behind your profile picture on the, the mobile app, okay? But I think that in the future, since they said they will update the, the app, to kind of match the website, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will also get rid of the banner. So currently there are no ways for you to change your banner, but it really doesn't matter since no one will be able to see it anyways. This website, there are some parts of the web website that are kind of buggy, but they will fix all of that and we'll get rid of the banners altogether. So you have to go in settings, profile to change your profile picture. You have to go in channel uh, settings, channel and videos to change your offline image. You have to go, you have to scroll down on your channel to edit the panels. And uh, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's pretty much how you can customize your Twitch channel. 
Um, if you're contracting a graphic designer to make your banner, call it off. <laughs> call it off now because it will be completely useless on, unless you want to use it for other social media platforms. But anyways, let me guys know what you think about the new Twitch updates. Did you prefer the, the old display, uh, the old website or did you, do you prefer the, the new one with the dark mode and, and the, the, the whole new features and all of that? So that's it for today. As I said, if there's a new update that is worth mentioning, I will keep you guys up to date. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss that. You can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash level and I will see you guys next time. Peace.